So this is an article that came out about a day ago, as you can see by the date here. And then earlier this morning, Anime News Network decided to kind of offer a translated segment of this article that came out about a day ago. And I think it's legitimately a very fascinating article, as you can kind of clearly see by the title. Because it kind of outlines some things that people in the community have been talking about. And it puts to rest that debate, did Chainsaw Man, the anime do financially well? Or was it a total flop? That was the question everybody was talking about, and FYI, to get everybody up to speed, basically, when Chainsaw Man aired, and when we got the first BD release of the sales, etc., it was definitely very low. And obviously, we didn't get the sales numbers from MAPPA's actual site, but at least from what we can gather, it was low sales. And in comparison to, let's say, Bochi the Rock that came out around that season, I don't want to have, like, two fandoms go at each other. I love both series collectively. But the point is, is that Bochi did very well. And it's just like, there was a lot of of, let's just say anger in the community back and forth a lot of toxicity so to speak and so this article really does kind of clarify a few things and let us actually see things from MAPPA's perspective and if the series actually did well and you know if you know things will change going forward so let's just let's get into this let's start reading it so one of the most notable aspects of the Chainsaw Man anime was that the production studio MAPPA invested the entirety of the production cost now this basically I, I'm going to read this here, this is a rarity among animation productions, as most titles are funded by a collection of companies known as the Production Committee. So, to kind of explain this to the best of my ability with my limited knowledge, pretty much you have, like, a bunch of sponsors, so to speak. This is an easier way to kind of, like, explain it. Imagine a bunch of sponsors coming in, they get a bit of the pie. They throw in some money here and there, a bunch of these different individuals, and so they get, you know, actual say on how it goes, but also they get a cut once the series comes out. And basically, map decided to fund everything. They funded absolutely everything for Chainsaw Man, which is honestly rare, which, you know, this right here outlines. And that was a big deal about Chainsaw Man, is that MAPPA financially, you know, they took the financial burden all on their own, which meant that Chainsaw Man needed to be successful for the future of Chainsaw Man, so to speak. And so, obviously, with the whole debate that happened, you know, late last year, you know, with Chainsaw Man apparently not doing well, at least that's what we all assume, it resulted in the fact that, uh-oh, this ain't good, this is a really big hit to Chainsaw Man. So, continuing the article, so how did, how well did Chainsaw Man end up doing for MAPPA? The CEO, Manabu, which, you know, he says in this article here, he says, he addresses the issue frankly in an interview with Tokyo Keizai on Wednesday. He said, as far as investment goes, one could say it was a complete success. This right here, that's a big detail. That means that the anime was successful. However, I am not satisfied that we were able to bring out the same kind of impact as Jujutsu Kaisen, which we worked on right before. So this is a very fascinating take. So basically, he admits that the series probably broke even. That That's my assumption, or maybe slightly above even, but it was basically just as impactful as JJK, which he's upset about because obviously, you know, they invested everything into Chainsaw Man, and they apparently had the same turnout as JJK. So you can see kind of why there is a little bit of dissatisfaction in that moment. So this is a good and a bad statement, saying that it did break even, it, they did get their money back, but probably just barely. Anyways, let's continue. He also went on to remark that there are some titles which sell well on home video, aka DVD, Blu-ray, while others attract a lot of viewers through streaming. He added, to be perfectly honest, I wish Chainsaw Man could have reached more of the audience that pays for home video releases. So this is a huge detail. This is pretty much Monobu, you know, the actual CEO of MAPPA admitting that Chainsaw Man did not do well in home video releases, which this goes along with the early releases of sales numbers that we got late last year, early this year. So it does let us know a lot. It lets us know that Chainsaw Man probably did not sell as it should for actual release, like, you know, physical copies. But in terms of streaming online and all that, and probably merchandise sales, it was very, very successful. And so he wishes that it was more good, let's say locally, 
than how it was. And this kind of fits perfectly in line if you think about the whole controversy that happened with Chainsaw Man's anime with how people were wanting the director fired, voice actors removed, people to redo the anime. It makes a lot of sense with just the overall animosity towards the anime, at least in Japan, that, you know, there probably wouldn't be a lot of BD sales. And so he he's kind of in his own way directly implying, yeah, it did bomb as BD and DVD sales, and that it's clear that Japan doesn't like Chainsaw Man as much as it should, and so he's upset about that. That's at least my interpretation. Now, continuing on, the other benefit of investing in Chainsaw Man was not so immediately tangible. Asuka remarked that a big challenge with the experiment was that, was that as a medium-sized company at best, MAPPA had little experience in managing the licensing, merchandise planning, and other aspects that other companies on the production committee would normally have handled. Thus, working on Chainsaw Man proved to be a fruitful learning experience. So, overall, even if they may manage to make, like, even, dead even, or a little bit over... They learned a lot from the experience because, once again, it goes back to the top part of the article. They invested everything, the entirety of its production, which means they were also in charge of, you know, merchandise, etc. So they made money through that as well. And this means that they got to be able to get a grasp on what it would mean or what it they would have to do to do more projects that, like this going forward to fully invest in this type of stuff. Which, overall, is good for the health of a series and a company to really have some good products and even pay their employees a lot better than the normal salary. So let's continue on. Later in the interview, Asuka said that while he does not plan to invest 100% in all anime titles in the future, he is actively working towards building the company so that he can negotiate investments on an equal footing with other members of the production committees. He, commits, uh, he commented that there is a lot of skepticism within the anime industry about studios being able to turn a profit, and he seeks to change that perception through MAPPA's example. And the rest of this is just basically talking about Chainsaw Man, where it's streaming, etc. So, um, this is a big detail. So... It, it shows that the CEO is very well aware of just the criticisms, not just towards the studio itself, but just the work culture as well in Japan and how people are overworking or not getting paid properly. And I think that regardless if, you know, at the end of the day, maybe not a lot of stuff has changed because we don't really know. It's good to see just the comment from the CEO saying this, even if it is PR, because it does mean that they're, they're aware of it. That he is aware of this, and they are trying to change this perspective, this viewpoint that the public has for the actual better. So I do think that this is legitimately a really good statement from the CEO of MAPPA even actually saying this. But also, I want to comment on the 100% invested comment. So he does go on and say that, you know, he's not going to do all anime titles in the future. But he does say because of this experience, it does mean that they would be able to negotiate investments. Means they would have more freedom with a production committee to be able to do what they want with certain projects. And I think that is a pretty good objective and goal. If they can actually manage to accomplish that, then maybe they can become completely independent and actually invest 100% in projects like what they did with Chainsaw Man. Now, does this necessarily mean that they're going to continue investing 100% in Chainsaw Man? Who knows? That is a good question. There is not any clarification, at least according to what I could see here, that Chainsaw Man Season 2 would be fully invested by MAPPA, or if they would allow the production committee to kind of tune in. We will have to see how that goes. But regardless, I do think that this is legitimately a good article. This does actually let us know a lot about the inner workings, at least of what's happened with the series, if it was successful or not. And overall, it's a bit of both. It clearly was very successful, and it was a learning experience for MAPPA. But obviously, in terms of Japan, it's kind of clear that most likely it didn't do that well. It, it, that's at least what my assumption is, because of just the overall reaction that the community in Japan had. But I'll leave it at that. I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention because I thought this was fascinating. I know there's a lot of Chainsaw Man, you know, fans on the channel and probably would want to know kind of the future of the anime and all that, if it was good or bright or dark. You know, I think this is bright news, legitimately bright news. And as much as I kind of talk about MAP or other animation studios, I think that this is a very good win for, you know, Manabu to actually say this. I, I, I This is an absolute win for Studio MAPPA. I am proud to see them actually be just so transparent about all of these matters. But I'm going to leave the video that thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my content please subscribe it does help me out a lot leave a like as well in the video if you enjoyed it and with that chibi out